All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how I um, clean and oil a GE fan, the old GEs. This is the five-wing plastic blade version. I got this from a, um, a local shop, music store. The guy said I could take it, um, so I did. I thought it had been thrown out. I hadn't seen it for a while, and they had bought a whole bunch of new fans, and I was a little worried that it hit the garbage, as they often do. Uh, the first thing you need to do is to remove the blades. There's a C-clip on the front. As you can see, I use two screwdrivers to try and get on either side of the C-clip. This is a little bit of a difficult procedure. Uh, all right, the C-clip came off. I had to uh, pry in between the in between the two parts, kind of twist to get it to pop off. I might have ruined it, and it went flying, so I might not even be able to find it. And then once that's off, you've got a metal washer, a very small. I call this the wavy washer because it's uh, it's kind of wavy in shape. And then you've got your plasticky fiber washer, and that's it. Next, we pull the blades off. Or as you can see, I got lucky; it didn't fly too far away. The uh, C clip also appears reusable; that'll be good. Uh, the blades didn't want to just pop right off. I found that with the last one too, so I hit it with a little WD-40 and let it soak. Um, but even so, pulling on it from the top didn't really seem to work. Um, what does work for me is I like to do these, uh, and like with the lake woods with the plastic blades, I just flip the fan over and push on the blades from all sides. Just try and give it a real even pressure and it should force down. Um, so now with these GEs, with any fan, you want to get the motor off of the mount before you start working on it and especially with these GEs um, so you also want to be careful with any clips or anything that holds the wiring on because you're going to want to try to reuse these the big bolts or screws as you'd call them I guess uh, require a large screwdriver uh, best seven dollars you'll ever spend uh, a good sharp new screwdriver like that does wonders and as you can see here we've got the motor out and we're ready to begin working on it all right, we're closer now to the next live part of the video. Of course, just now as I'm trying to do this, they're mowing the lawn across the street. It's always very helpful. Uh, I use a stand that I kind of make shifted. Uh, it's just a roll of tape and a, a bicycle gear. And it puts a place to put the motor while you have it upside down to work on it. Okay, I like that. Um, we need our motor and we need a drill. And I'm using the... 1164th bit. It just seems to be large enough. I think that's the one I've been using. So that's what we're going to use. And here you can see the motor uh, resting on my little makeshift stand that keeps it steady while you work on it. I like that a lot. That's a good system. Uh, so then we have our backing plate or seal on the back that we need to drill into in order to pry it off of the motor. And that's where we get access um, to pull the motor apart further. Uh, and you can see about where I drill it. Now we just want to drill um, straight down, a little off of the edge. We don't want to be all the way up on the edge. Uh, and we're just trying to get a big enough opening so that we can get a screwdriver or something in to pry the plate off. That's what we're trying to do. through I'll show you what we look like here's our drilled plate I'm going to quickly get those metal filings off of there we just drilled straight down and so now we're going to use that opening to pry the plate out um, stay tuned all right so here's the part that we're trying to do I already got there a little bit I have just a, a regular screwdriver that's a little thinner than the other ones and I'm um, putting it in here and I'm trying to pry the plate and what happens is as you bend the plate it begins to let loose of where it's pressed into here uh, and then when you're ready to put it back in which we'll do later you just flatten it out with a light hammer and pop it in so we'll show you all that. Now we're in there. There we go. And there is our plate. So here we are with the back of our late 
model General Electric box fan unit bearing. Um, we'll take a look at all that. One of the things you'll notice is that with the old fans, the metal bladed ones, they have a big felt in here and the way it's designed and little felt, see these squares? On the old fans there were felts that ran all the way through to the other side of the bearing. Uh, and what it did was it would um, cycle the oil back in front, back to front, back to front, because there was an oil groove on the shaft. This doesn't have any of that. Um, but we'll pull the clip out, we'll take it apart. All we really see here is the C-clip, the metal washer, and there's a small felt under there. If this was an older model, you'd have a big felt right here on top of everything that holds the oil. Uh, so that's where we're at. All right, this C-clip is a little different than the one on the back. There's a big wide open space in between. Let me see if I can show you. Here to here. So I'm going to be able to do the X pattern again with my two screwdrivers to force that off. Um, hopefully I don't lose it. Almost. There we go. Uh, we've got our rotor, which we'll dust that off, make sure that's clean. And then we have our four parts that came off the back of the shaft. We have our C-clip. This is the order in they appear. C-clip we pop off, and then we have this metal washer that has a little tooth on it. It's upside down. We have a plastic washer, like a fibery plastic washer, and we have a gray felt. And that's everything that came out. And we'll clean these things up, and I'll show you what I do next. There is a little washer on the inside here, uh, on the front, and probably a little felt underneath it. Last time, the, see, the problem is that the little plastic washer you see is a little bigger than this. The last time I tried to pull that out, it broke. So I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to hit it, uh, clean it a little bit in the front there. I'm going to leave it as is. No big deal. The uh, bearing surface on the shaft doesn't look that great, frankly, but I'm not that worried about it. Uh, and the internal bearing, uh, the unit bearing, looks all right. All right, I've cleaned the shaft and the bearing. I just showed you those backwards uh, as much as I can. I did not hit the shaft with any steel wool or anything. Um, I just want to get this uh, moving. Uh, the thing that you might not know if you've never pulled a fan apart before, most of you watching this video have probably even done this a bunch of times. If you haven't, first time you've ever seen anything like this, when you put everything back together, you got to make sure you oil all the surfaces, the metal surfaces that are going to go together. So I'm going to drop some oil through uh, so that the entire uh, bearing surface inside there is all oiled. And then I'm going to oil the, uh, the shaft too, make sure it's got real good coverage so that when we slide it together, everything's smooth and we don't damage any of our bearing surfaces. That's all. That's all you got to know. On this one, we want to get also the felt that's in the front. So we're going to oil pretty liberally here in the front. All right, I oiled it and I cleaned off any excess. And now I'm going to slide it down in very carefully. it goes so that's uh, the first part I'm going to very carefully flip it over all right we're here with our four pieces to the puzzle for the back of the unit bearing motor and I'm going to oil the felt just uh, because and uh, there's a little oil in it but not a lot so I'm going to oil it up and then we'll be ready to put it I'm going to flip it over and do that again and then we'll be ready to put this in the motor all right, now we're ready to go in. It's going to be uh, felt first, plastic brown one next, metal one with the tooth third, and then the C-clip. And uh, I have, the C-clip is difficult to get back on because uh, it's kind of deep in there. Uh, so I remember last year needing some, needing those pliers and maybe, I don't know what I used. 
Uh, but we're going to start putting this back together. This flat side goes down. Okay, here's the little guy. He goes down. Okay, we have our metal one with the tooth facing up. You can see the tooth, right? And the point of the tooth is to be in, um, in the center of the C-clip. So you want the tooth here and the C-clip. And it, I think it keeps it from moving or it causes it to move. I don't know. Um, so the hardest part is getting the C-clip back on. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see me do any of this. But it's kind of bad lighting. You know, you try to get these videos right, but... <laughs> what are you going to do? Almost there. There. There it is. It's on. Alright, so everything's in there. i give it one last little drip of oil here. know why just to do it I suppose and uh, there we go the uh, GE motor is together I don't want too much excess oil in there so there you go back together no funny noises that's what we want let's mount it back in from here on out it'll be still pictures unless I have trouble with that front uh, front bed with the grill uh, not the grill the blades that also has a c-clip i might have bent that other c-clip uh, but you can get those i think at automotive stores so we'll put this all to get back, back together uh still pictures hope this was helpful um if you have an old g fan and you want to see it uh, see it run nice go ahead and oil it it's not that big a deal uh, if i can do it you can do it believe me uh so there you go thanks for watching all right, so now from this point, you want to reattach the backing plate or this metal seal that we took off. You kind of got to flatten it back out. A mallet helps with this um, and just kind of get it back into its rough shape. And then you tap it back into the motor housing. Sometimes this goes smoothly. Sometimes it is challenging. This one was a challenge. All right, so the plate's back on. This one fought me the most so far, um, but I think it's on there sturdy enough. Um, you could resort to gluing that on with some Gorilla Glue or something like that, or use an epoxy and play, push a bead of epoxy across it. That would, that either way would, I mean, any of those would work, considering, um, but I was able to reshape it and get it in there. It was not easy. It fought me. So, uh, expect that. Haha. <laughs>